Hey, what's going on YouTube? You got this uh, 2003 Yukon Denali. And issue I'm having with this, the air suspension is leaking. I'll show y'all in a little bit where it's leaking from. But, solve that problem about this uh, uh, repair kit. Air. And it comes with all the lines in it. So mine's leaking from this T here, and it's only about $30, uh, and I've already spent probably 20 of that trying to buy O-rings and other little fittings, and it didn't work. So found this, 30 bucks at O'Reilly's, and I'm going to put it in and, and show you guys uh, if it fixes the problem. YouTube, so I got the hoses installed. Kind of put them through the outside and zip tied them. I put a zip tie on the shock absorber because it was popping out because these are aftermarket airbags. Uh, so I put a zip tie just to hold it in place and then I zip tied the rest of the line through the outside. Just like that. Zip tie there, zip tie there. Ran it over the frame. Kind of tried to follow the loom all the way around. Here's the uh, here's the passenger side. Zip tied it. Zip tied it there. And then uh, zip tied it there. So. It's, so it won't rub against anything. There's another zip tie. Just zip tie to the loom. Try to follow the old path. So now let's give it a test and see if it uh, lifts up. For some reason, uh, this shock absorber is not getting any air. I haven't seen it fill up. That one's the one. Driver's side is the one that fills up. I don't know if you guys had the same issue. But if you are, uh, leave a comment on the below. I don't know if that's how it works. There's no clog because the old one was doing the same thing. For some reason, this one uh, is not getting any air. But let's try it out. See if it uh, pick it up to the camper and see if it'll hold up. All right, so I got it attached. See squatting. Let's see if it comes up. trying to I just already started it let's see if the list up now just a little bit Yes, yeah, lifting a little bit. But yeah, there you go. Held up. I guess eventually, going down the road, it will it will lift up higher. But that's what it was. Lines leaked, as you can see, see at the beginning of the video. And now it's not leaking. It's holding there. Make sure you hit the like button if you, uh, because it's kind of helped you out. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Got a couple more projects called, going, coming on. I'm going to get an Ella swap. And uh, on a Monte Carlo. I don't know if y'all can see it over there. And I do Ella swap on a 68 C10. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.